Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do an experiment over the last two years. Uh, try to cut off as much as I can from social media. I wouldn't say 100%, but I'd say like 98%, just because uh, the whole point of that exercise was to prove to myself or kind of to see how far word of mouth would take me in terms of work and work ethic. I uh, find in uh, the Middle East, in the Arab region, um, a little bit more so than others that I'm exposed to at least. People take a uh, step, but they talk a mile, which I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of... Uh, I don't think that really embodies the kind of work I want to do. I'd rather take a thousand mile journey and talk just about a couple of steps. <laughs> but that's what I've been trying to do over the last year. You know, we're in the 21st century, it's a whole different world. And uh, it's a kind of, if you know, if you don't adapt, you either get left behind. I wanted to prove the opposite and show that, you know, you can succeed even without adhering to the algorithm and the social media and the post schedules and all that stuff. Alhamdulillah, I think it's been successful. It's been best financial year of my life so far. I don't want to make money because I want to get rich. I want to make money because I want to never say no to my sphere of influence. I don't want to ever say no to them or say no to an event or an experience just because I'm not capable financially. That's not fun. Let's talk about a couple of things that did happen over the past uh, few, let's say, months. Uh, you know, I've been off social media for, what, one year now? And uh, there have been some things that I'm pretty proud of. Um, when I say me, I also mean my company, Moonlight Media. I'm trying to focus on that a little bit more than my personal endeavors, only because, you know, we're greater than the sum total of our parts, Ernie, you know what I mean? If, uh, I'm trying to do more. Uh, with other people, with, with groups and I enjoy that aspect I enjoy doing like business development a lot and talking to clients and booking deals I find there's a very like fun high in it so I'm a salesman now <laughs> but, uh, let's talk about a few things one project I'm really proud of is that there's an upcoming food museum in Shandaga in uh, Dubai and uh, we were um, we were trusted to be advisors for from the culture perspective, because uh, culture in, the, in Arabia is, is very nuanced, and we produce the assets that were used for the museum interactive tables. So it's nice, you know, I feel proud in uh, some of my works in a museum. <laughs> Small one, but it's, uh, it's something. Um, inshallah, one day, can't wait to, you know, take my family, my kids, my nieces, kids one day, inshallah, it's like my nieces and my family there and tell them, oh, look, 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 look what we did. <laughs> and we know that it's an accurate representation and reflection of yani, the area and the region. And inshallah, people who come and visit have a better understanding of what the the region entails. That's one. Um, the second one was a minor role. Uh, my wife worked on this mostly. She was she produced artwork for uh, Expo 2020 in the UAE Pavilion. And I kind of helped as a cultural consultant on the pavilion. Uh, I mean, uh, I worked a lot with a team called uh, Tellart, a fantastic team. Shout out to Selena McKenzie, who's my favorite, my favorite person ever, <laughs> my OG. And uh, just bouncing off ideas off of her, even if some of them didn't get implemented, at least the, the, the knowledge got passed through and on, which means that people are better prepared to kind of produce and more accurately represent and show and inform the world what, who and what we are. Um, I was very happy with that. We recently did a shoot for a big a real estate agency that's coming out soon. So that was fun. We did a lot of a lot more museum work. So we did a lot of work with a museum in Alabi that has not been open yet. Um, I have uh, part uh, one one really fun one was actually I did this super awesome like uh, art project in Al Ula. Um, I was commissioned by an entity called Capsule Arts for the Royal Commission of Al-Ula, their VIP terminal. Uh, they wanted to create three artworks that they were going to hang in uh, the VIP terminal, which is cool. But, you know, like, there's a bit of sensitivity when it comes to that, because I am a Marathi, I'm from Dubai. So who am I to go to all the way over Saudi? It's around 2,000 kilometers from, from where I was born. So, you know, in Arabic, or in Arabic, we say, uh, who am I to represent? the land and the people. And we have a beautiful saying in Arabic which says, Man 
صار منهم او رحل او اصبح منهم او رحل which means if you stay among the people for 40 days you either become one of them or you leave them so i decided to spend 40 days in al <laughs> to kind of give merit to the merit to this very old saying and um, and i met with some incredible people i saw some excellent sights i went camping for 40 days out in nature like no pampering um, no hotels maybe it was just a couple of i think three nights where where my where my wife and my friends they they came to, for a quick visit a weekend visit but that was an awesome trip and that was an awesome project and i was I'm very proud and very happy to like share the images with you guys and to say that yeah this this work is like representative of what i think what i truly think al-ula is and i hope ahl al-ula and the people from al-ula also see merit in my work and they say yes abed's abed's photos and his viewpoint is true i kind of wanted to take it across like the people the culture the experiences and the sites and kind of capture all that and uh Yeah. Um, one last thing I want to talk about from the commercial perspective is that I was uh, chosen to represent the Sony's, the Sony Middle East launch for the A7 IV and the 14mm uh, G Master one, f1.8 and the, uh, the trio of the small pancake lenses, the 24, 40 and 50mm. Uh, f2.5 or 2.8 lenses i think they're all 2.5s if i'm not mistaken that was a lot of fun i want to do more stuff like that because i know how to kind of give a creative uh twist to feedback and reviews um i hope i'm not getting like super super overexposed because it is getting brighter i love this mountain range the ridges are incredible it's so good it's called jebel shams because supposedly it's uh, one of the first places the sun hits in the middle east when it rises and it's like a symbolic gesture of a rebirth for me and uh, trying to get back into a better headspace and resetting everything mentally so here i am again this is my i don't know like third fourth time here and the last time i was here was like maybe over two years ago so it's a, i think it was a fitting time for me to get back into this game the duality of arabia there's a lot of like it's very dry but it's extremely lush at the same time and it's a place that has or one can imagine that there's quite a lot of death but again you know there's so much life there that these kind of these kind of things like put i don't know they fill me with awe they fill me with like appreciation they push me to like i think push harder and thrive more and to be honest i have no no we have no excuse not to صحيح um there's there's a million ways to make money today <laughs> but it's not just thrive financially i want to thrive like emotionally and um, mentally spiritually and i'm 30 now i had a couple of I'd, I'd, i'd like to say i've lived a little over a lifetime in my life so far had a lot of weird things happen but alhamdulillah i'm very thankful for all of the experiences there any um but you know as i grow older it's i think less about myself for myself in a in a selfish way and more about myself in regards to others you know i like to think i know myself at this point i know what i like what i don't I know what meshes with me. I know the kind of person I want to be. But now I think of myself as, you know, who do I want to be as a as a son, as a brother, as a as a as a recently, you know, like two years ago, but recent husband, as a cousin, as a friend, as a one day father, as a as a person in the community who has you know values and something to say. Not that I want to, you know lead or anything like that far from it yani i think because you know the more i'm sure everybody who sees this who who knows where i'm coming from knows that like the more the more you learn the less you know <laughs> so i i i feel like i don't know anything but i think that a good and strong moral compass and uh, mindset and and being responsible and accountable will make a lot of things a lot easier you know i can have difficult conversations i have them a lot with myself i need to have them more um the last couple of months have been very distracting yani it's just based in dubai summer is quite dead Play, going out doing nothing filling my time with not enough high quality leisure or time so i want to minimize that and kind of like really grow i think <laughs> grow such a lame word not grow just just fill it with things i don't regret you know um because 
the end of the day I'm the only one making me unhappy يعني. truly so why <laughs> it's getting a little hot in this jacket alhamdulillah <laughs> I prayed yeah when I pray in a play like, place like this it it, uh, it makes me feel like excessively grounded it, the view really puts things into perspective it makes me uh, concentrate you know I'm I'm just like paving the way to be a monk in the mountains aren't I sorry <laughs> And then the last thing is I want to talk about community, yes. So hopefully I'll be a lot more active on the A Better Thousand Front, which is this initiative I tried to start like a year and a half ago with my friend Tariq. So you know how the famous saying, a photo is worth a thousand words. I wanted to create a community that helps each other make a better thousand words by telling, by making or creating better photos and telling better stories ultimately. <laughs> And the way I wanted to do this is, this is like the non-profit section of my life, yani. I want to do this just pro bono for fun, just like no strings attached. I, th I think I tried to do it a bit too hard at first and it kind of like intimidated me. That's like, oh, I don't want to just say no because I don't feel like it. That's not that's not what a professional does, does he? Um, you gotta show up and do the work. But hopefully the second week of every month, I want to do like a quick gathering. And then the fourth week of every month, we do kind of like peer reviews and check out the stuff we've done. and you know, some prompts and some cool stuff. I'll try to keep it simple. Uh, it's usually through Discord. There's going to probably be a link on, you know, if I post this on YouTube or Instagram. Got to take some photos of this amazing landscape while the light is still pretty uh, flattering because it's going to rise up pretty quickly. Going to make breakfast, make some eggs and beans and stuff <laughs> and uh, enjoy the rest of my trip. Uh, I don't have, I don't have anything else to say, but I have a lot of things to do, so. Catch you guys soon. Thank you. Looks so good.